welcome to my May favourites. How are we practically in June? That is crazy. I cannot believe we are technically almost halfway through the year. But I'm very excited that summer is on its way. Um, hopefully by the end of the month we would have had some excellent days of sun. Fingers crossed because I need some sun. But let's get started with this month's beauty favourites. So the first item I'm going to start with, I just took out of my shower and it's the rich and famous shower and, bo and bath body wash from Soap and Glory. I love this because it's a great size, it's really nice and big, it smells incredible, it lathers beautifully and I love the pump. I think Soap and Glory do like stuff like this really really well but this one smells incredible. It smells quite pistachio-y. Is that a word? I'm sure it's not. But it smells quite a lot like pistachio and I just love it so much. Definitely worth checking out if you like Soap and Glory or you like pistachio scent because this is amazing. Then a product that I don't necessarily think you need but I've really enjoyed using this month is the Omavitska Queen, Queen? Queen of Hungary Mist. I can't speak today guys, sorry. Um, I've used a fair bit and I also have a mini one which I'm almost out of. Because it is on Moravitska, it's quite a luxury product. I'm not 100% sure how much it is but I'm assuming it's not going to be cheap. Lovely glass bottle. I love this before my skincare and after my makeup. Um, I quite often spray this over but I find it helps hydrate my skin and since my skin is so dry that's something that I really really need. I've also come back to an old favourite which is the Radical Hydrating Cleanser. I love this cleanser probably top five, top four maybe. Um, excellent product I think, really luxurious. I love the smell of this. I love the packaging because it's really travel friendly which most balm products aren't I find because they're usually in huge glass pots so this is a great product to look into if you're going away for the summer. Before I move on to makeup I'm going to talk about one product that I most definitely prejudged before I tried it and it's from Roger and Gale which is a brand that I don't typically have use a lot from just because I think it's kind of aimed at a slightly older person, an older lady but oh this smells incredible. I have so many perfumes on today that I can't put this one on too. It's quite a grown up sweet scent in my opinion. It's called Fleur de Figuere. That's my French, I hope that's how you pronounce it. It just smells incredible. Um, the bottle isn't anything terribly fancy, but if you like figgy scents, you need this in your life. I just love it so much. I've got a review on this, so I'll link that below. I've picked one tool, and that is the Tweezerman eyelash curlers. I love the Shimura ones, but I potentially like these more. Not just because they're rose gold, but I actually just think they're really, really good quality. I really like the shape, and recently I've been reaching for these more than my Shimura ones. I just think they're excellent for lift, grab all my lashes really easily without grabbing the skin of my eye. So I would definitely recommend looking at these if um, maybe you didn't get on too well with the Shimura, or these are potentially a little bit cheaper. I really love these eyelash curlers. For any of you that read my blog, I'm sure you already guessed that the Lorac Pro palette would be in my favourites, of course. Um, I think it's perfect to travel with and I'm off to Paris later in the month and I'm sure it'll be coming with me. Um, I'm going to leave a link below to my blog post and in that blog post there's a link to where you can get it in the UK. But it's a really beautiful palette because it's streamlined, which is excellent. It's got eight matte shadows and eight shimmery shadows all beautifully pigmented, all stunning colours. I'm actually not sure if there's that much product in each shadow, which is why I think I might run out run out fairly soon. Really, really beautiful, and um, I'm so glad I managed to get it in the UK, and I'm really considering number two as well. The second palette is one that I decided I actually didn't like, but recently have fallen in love with it, and it's the Smashbox contour palette which looks like this you've got a contour shade a bronzing shade and a highlighting shade I like that they're all matte which is great I like to mix these two and I just think they're really really nice they look really natural it's just great to have them all in one palette as well without any of them being shimmery because you get shimmery highlights all the time even in eyeshadow palettes so I think it's nice to have a highlight that's not shimmery at all once again pretty streamlined I think I'll be taking this on holiday with me 
because I've got three products in quite a small um, package. But when I do want a shimmery highlight, my favourite of the month has been the Rodeal Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Illuminating Powder, which looks like this. I've got this on the top of my cheeks today, kind of on my nose, in a corner of my eyes and under my brow. Really beautifully milled, this powder. It's just stunning. Fairly expensive, pretty heavy packaging, but I do like it and it's just the most beautiful champagne-y highlighter. Finally, a eyeliner that I've been loving and it's also what I've got on today. And that's from Delilah and it's called Delilah Slim Liner, liquid eyeliner. Beautiful tip because it's thin, it's not too long, so it means that you can get a really nice thin line but still be able to control it, which is what I love. Um, lasts all day on me, pretty black, doesn't tend to transfer as much as most other liners transfer on me, which is great and I have been loving it. I also wanted to pick the Delilah eyeliner brush, it's excellent, but I can't find it, so I'm sure I'll save it for another video. That's the end of my May favourites, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments what video you'd like to see next, like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video, bye!